हेलो गाइस दिस इज रोहित फ्रॉम सेल्स फोर्सन सो आई होप यू आर गुड सो आई हैव सम मैसेज फॉर अगेंस्ट कोविड 19 सो प्लीज रीड केयरफुली सो दिस इज द मैसेज लाइक यूज मार्क्स एवरीवेयर मेंटेन सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग यूज हैंड सैनिटाइजर ओके एंड बी सेफ एंड स्टे होम सो दिस इज द सम स्मॉल टिप्स एंड मैसेज फ्रॉम माई साइड रिगार्डिंग कोविड नाइन्टीन so please be safe stay home so today i am going to show you like one way winding in lwc so how to work so you can see in this video so if you like this video so please subscribe my youtube channel share comments okay so <coughs> it's a valuable for me so let's get started without any further delay so like you know very well like lwc always work as a template template is nothing but it's html okay and another things like as a js okay so these two things is very most important in lwc okay and one way winding is nothing but once you having some data winding properties under the js file and if you bind this property into the html so it's a showing the data but not automatic uh, render the dom and automatic change the dom okay so this type of functionality is not provide, provided by the one way winding so that is the solution like as a two way winding so after this video you can see another video like regarding two way winding in lwc so please focus in this one way winding and after that you can easily understand uh, in between the uh, the difference between the one way winding and two way winding okay so one way winding definitely use for suppose you have some property in java script okay like if you have some property in java script okay and this java script property i want to use under the html okay so you can use with the help of data binding property okay suppose i have x y z property okay and this x y z property i want to use in into the html so you can use with the help of curly bracket data binding property but in one way winding suppose html changing this property like as x y z to abc but in one way winding this process not happen okay like that so this communication is not happen like html to js but in one way winding if you have some property in js so it's automatic uh, showing the data and showing the uh, value into the html so this is the one way winding this one okay so i hope you understand this diagram so it's time to code and let me open my vs code and here we go you can see this is my vs code and now i want to create one lwc component like as a one way binding demo something like that you can create any name any component with the name okay so control shift p this is the command palette and here you can see like once you type like sfdx colon create so here you can see all the create commands is coming okay like sfdx colon create and create lighting web component query builders all the things okay so our focus is on this cre create lightning web component you know okay so just click this and give your component name so our component name should be like as a camel case okay always follow the camel case like as a first uh, letter is a small then other is capital like uh, you can see like as a Uh, one w is capital and all is small one way binding like that so this is our camel case process and always follow this process once you uh, create your lwc co component in salesforce so always follow this camel case process to create the lwc component okay so just click enter and this is the default directories so just enter here and here we go you can see 
our component is created like a one way binding and this is the html and this is configuration file okay so uh, uh, once you create any lwc component so it's already contain three files like as a js dot html and dot js hyphen meta dot xml file this is metadata file okay so our motive is one way binding perform in this component how to do that okay so let's get started with js and in js in js i have one property like as a grating something like that you can give any property okay like uh, welcome back self for sunt okay so this is the one property as a string you can see okay and i want to use this property into the my html so how to do that so this is a simple way to write your property and how to access the property from js to html okay so just type like as a card i need card so <coughs> here card uh, the, the title should be you can give any name but uh, right now i'm giving like as a one sorry one way winding example like that okay and just remove all the things because i don't uh, to mention all the things so i just keep it up like div and this div i um, create the class class uh, should like uh, some margin between the tags so here you can see like as a <coughs> margin margin class and this margin class i want to take like this around and this margin class i mention one html and under this html i need that uh, property as a one uh, data binding like so if any anything to bind anything to do with the help of property so this curly bracket it's very most important once you working in data binding okay so this is the data binding like a curly bracket and you can pass your property name under this bracket okay like that so this is the binding process okay so just save it and now it's time to configure our metadata file so our metadata file should be let's say is exposed is true then give the targets okay and here we go so i want to show this component under the record page app page and home page okay so you can see here this is a configuration file just save it and control shift p and push source to default scratch or enter hit and here we go you can see this process is going on okay so <coughs> sorry so after some time you can see the successfully ran okay so hopefully it's deployed successfully okay and you can see la push source to default scratch or successful, uh, successfully ran okay now it's time to check it's working or not okay so let me open my org and in this org i want to open any account or any page you want okay like app page so i am choosing like as a account okay and open any account record like uh, any account record mention here okay like you can open your account with the help of these things and i want to edit this page with the help of this gear icon and uh, here you can see like as a edit page just click this edit page and after some time you can see my output as a one way winding okay so let's here you can see like uh, one way winding this is my custom component and i want to drag and drop in particular places okay so here you can see like yeah save it okay save it and activate and after activate uh, assign to default org and next save okay so this is page is activate now go to the back okay okay fine so here you can see 
our all accounts and this uh, this is record regarding that uh, record page so I, i'll just open this and here we go you can see my one way binding example this one my one way binding example and this is text coming from js to html okay so this is the way uh, way to bind the data as a one way binding okay so one 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 way binding is nothing but again it's a regarding like uh, if you have some property in js and uh, if you want to access that property into the html so you can use directly with the help of binding properties and and uh, you cannot uh, like as a change any property with the help of some html into the js so only you can access that property into the html it's a one way binding and uh, uh, in this scenario dom is not rendered because uh, it's a one way binding like as a uh, only static text you can see uh, if you provide some dynamic text so with the help of two way binding we can provide okay so i hope you learn something new in this video so please subscribe my youtube channel and share comments and hit the like button and also please be safe stay home again uh, i'm going to show you like some messages from my side so please follow that steps and you can uh, you can live long life like use mask maintain social distancing use hand hand sanitizer and be safe and stay home okay so bye bye take care see you again see ya bye bye